Hello, people of the internet watching this channel. This is my very first video. It's going to just be thrown together because I've been wanting to have this channel for a really long time. And I just keep uh, procrastinating the editing and, you know, all that stuff. So this is just going to be one video in its entirety that I'm just uploading to these channels, maybe YouTube and maybe Vimeo, um, just to basically get this started. And the whole point of what I'm starting is kind of a, like a lifestyle channel, so to speak, uh, a channel where I could teach you how to grow your own food and how to make your own money and how to be an artist that's inside of you and how to make things in your life or do things in your house, be your own handy person, um, you know, give yourself positive frames of mind all the time, fill yourself with love, some self-help videos. I mean, I just basically want to share with you my path to maybe happiness or finding a life a fulfilling living a fulfilling life um, and feeling young and and feeling healthy and having a healthy mind and and going about life every day in a, in a way that makes me feel pleased and makes me feel fulfilled really um, you know I could go into other videos in the future and I'll describe why I've started to live this life but I figured why not a great first video to start to just show you how to garden in the most basic basic way um, and that means taking any fruit or vegetable mainly vegetable actually fruits are harder because you have to graft on a tree but any vegetable that you like and taking the seeds straight out of it from the store, drying them, and then planting them and making your own food. Um, it's a really simple process and that's what I'm gonna do. So right now, let me show you what I got. I have a dehydrator here. I have a head of a pepper that I, uh, took from my garden last year and I took it since it did well and I have one tomato left these both came out of my garden it's already February 2019 so this is last year's crop and I was cleaning up the garden the other day and I found two green ones this one turned red and since this stayed on so long and obviously did well in my garden um, I'm going to use these seeds. So I have two types of seeds here. Um, let's see if I have anything else that I can take the seeds out of just to make this video. So I have this squash. This is a butternut squash. I could take the seeds out of that, but it's my roommate's. But I do have this squash. So... I think I grew this last year and didn't eat it. I don't know why I didn't eat it, but it's something that I tend to do and grow a lot of food. Okay, so check it out. Let's show you what I'm about to do. I'm going to try to do most of this one-handed. But I'm going to have to I'm gonna use this cutting board for the tomato made of this. I kind of botched the edge right there, but still made this in like, I don't know, a couple hours really. I this with my ex-girlfriend. He's a really cool guy. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of different parts with this dehydrator, as you see. And one of them that might be important. Might be over here, let's see. Would be like a little tray 
that make that doesn't let the seeds fall all the way down to the bottom. So maybe I have that down here. Come on, John John. I'm trying to be more organized in my life. Um, I'm clear in the kitchen, so please don't judge me for the kitchen. It's a little dirty. I have a roommate too, and I do a lot of our own cooking, so surprisingly not as dirty as you think. Well, let's use this. I know there's something else that I'm missing. Oh, here it is. Oh, look, I got some beans in here. We can also dehydrate some peas. There's some peas. These are sugar snap peas. Also from the garden. Okay, so now we have the things that we're going to dehydrate. I'm going to put this little guy at the very bottom because I know there's going to be some juicy stuff that will be falling through. I think this pops. I don't know if I'm putting this together completely right. But I have a feeling. That. This should go on first, and then this. Yeah, I feel like that's better for this setup. Um, still, nothing is gonna get underneath there, but this sits flushly. All right, got some knives over here. Magnetic knife rack. Let's just go ahead and cut this tomato. Make it easy. I'm just gonna kind of squeeze that guy out. Mm. Mm. It smells so good. Let me go ahead and do the same thing on this one. Squeeze out that big lump. And toss the seeds out. See if you can separate a lot. out of there with a paper towel or something um, you know, to make this process go faster because essentially we're just taking all the water out of all these seeds in the natural process what would happen is we maybe wouldn't eat a few of these fruits and they'd fall off the tree and they'd fall onto the ground and we should do this outside of the dehydrator. Anyway, let's let's get this other one done real quick with these peas. I'm just going to try to set my camera down. Again, this is why this is my first video and I talk about all that editing stuff. I don't wanna edit I'm, I'm lazy right now. open this pea. Look, boom, some beautiful peas inside. I was thinking of getting this juice out of the way, but I don't think I'm going to. Well, let's just see how the natural, the natural process does it. So let's go ahead and put this guy right on top. Ooh, and it was smart that I put that there because this kind of lifts it up. And now I can maybe put one of these trays on there. This way is higher. Oh, right there. Let's do that. And I got some peas right there. So let's go ahead and throw some of these peas on there. Yeah, sugar snap peas. This, I'm trying to break this open on camera. Let me just sit that down. Sorry, guys. Again, this is not going to be edited, so we're just staring at the grate of a dehydrator. And that was a pea that rolled towards the camera. Okay, got that, got that open. 
Well, maybe I'm pulling some camera tricks here. Maybe, maybe all of this is fake and you actually can't grow food from, from food. You know, maybe this is a propaganda video. And I just put the camera down so that you uh, so pull out some real, like real seeds or something like that. Something crazy. This guy started already doing it by itself. I was saying the natural process. Things would fall off the trees. They would start to get dry out by the sun the seeds would dry out and then the winter would come and the ground would get rehydrated and things would compost and the few seeds that they didn't get eaten up by worms and stuff would survive and they would plant themselves the following year okay so let's see those and let's see i don't want to crush those so there's another grate on there like it's just high enough that it doesn't touch them. Through this one there, because these seeds. I'll do this one. And I'll do this. These are these pepper seeds. So I think I'll just kind of sprinkle those. Kind of shake them off this guy. And Do this. I'm gonna do this again. Hold on a second. 